This is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio and that is a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I have pre-primed and is dry. It's got a few smutsy things on it. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go but I'm going to start with my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula and probably whatever comes to mind which is going to be in this case some vivid intense white on the edge of some color that I'm going to put down in the cent uh, along the bottom right hand edge. And I'm going to use a little bit of Wild Orchid Prism Pour. And a little bit of Jasmine Primary Element. And a little bit of Love You Pink Primary Element. I'm looking to make some color blocks. I haven't been able to do it every time I've wanted to try it so far. It just doesn't seem to be my thing. But I'm not giving up. I figure this is my art therapy today and if nothing else it will serve that purpose. Now I love the blue that using Royal Sapphire creates. and I'm liking the striations I'm seeing. I want a fairly gentle touch because I don't want to see all the <coughs> canvas texture in the background no matter what. Excuse my voice. Got a couple little things in there need to go. And I'll keep right on going with putting a little bit more Love You Pink. <coughs> And a little bit more white, which does not seem to be coming out very easily, but at least it's coming out, I guess. I've got some plum blossom, which is a primary element. Pretty sure that's what this is. Yes, it is. What a great color. I think that calls for a little more jasmine. And to remove that thing that does not belong. I do keep wiping off the edge of my spatula on the painting. I need bright colors today. I'm thinking orange is coming next. I'm going to try not to freak out as much as I usually do for the um, imperfections in the paint. Because it doesn't seem like they're going anywhere. kind of want a white center. And I'm thinking I've got this Burmese red that I keep calling Burmese ruby, but it's Burmese red. And get as much paint off there as I can. I still want that orange. I think it'll be orange crush. And while I'm at it, a little bit of <coughs> sour lemon with Orange Crush in it. I still want... I still want some Royal Sapphire. Okay, I've taken the orange off for whatever reason. Not necessarily on purpose. I'm liking all those streaky things. I'm thinking I want some saffron now. 
And I'm getting rid of all the white I wanted to keep in the center. Oh well. It occurs to me I have some really... I have a color I used to like to use a lot and I'm wondering if it'll come out easily if I try and grab it. And it is orange peel with a little bit of gold sparkle in it. And while I'm at it, I've got some Vivid Intense Tarnished Rose, which is a color that I don't like alone, but I like in combination with other colors. So we'll give it a try. Ooh, I don't. Actually, I think it's the orange peel that's the problem, not the other color. Now the white is acting as a resist. And that's okay. Use a little more love you pink. There I go, leaving texture behind again, which is really not my original intention, but once I see it, I like it. I'm being called to a little bit of Snapdragon, as long as I can get the tab off the top. I think I'm going to actually put it on my spatula right along the blade which is a lot more precise and then I need another one but I have another one so that it, that's not impossible and I'm going to wipe that off I still want some of that Royal Sapphire that I talk about and haven't been using. I'm going to put it right on top of the residual of the Snapdragon, which is not much. And the less you mess with this, the purer the colors will stay. Do I? No. Maybe. Wasn't sure. I'm thinking. Royal Sapphire. Wild Orchid. And Jasmine again. But wipe off my spatula and put some more. I see that thing that does not belong. And it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> and I see another thing in there that does not belong and it needs to go. Fortunately, I love my tweezers. My tweezers are on the Amazon link. Underneath show more underneath the video, along with a 20% off color art coupon code and the link to get to the website. I'm not sure that Love You Pink was, was an overkill there, but I will find a way to, feel, to fix it. All right, I've got Sea Monster and Nebulous Star. I'm getting tacky on the other side, so I better 
fix that right now or it won't be fixable. And I don't mind the drag marks. I kind of like them. I think I've said that before. Makes me want to put some red on top of that, but I can do that after it's dry. Being called to blue, but first I need to get that thing out. I'm hoping I'm under the camera, and I'm thinking I'm probably not. Jasmine. I like the odd shapes I get from the spatula pulls. I am going to use some of that Burmese red like I thought I was. But I'm going to grab the Indian Spice Gold. I hope that not. Hope there's not too much residual paint. I think I should have thought about that a little more. But, because the canvas is already primed, I can scrape off pretty much whatever I want. Cleanly even. And I was thinking I wanted some blue. I think it's Egyptian blue that I want because it seems like a darker version of Snapdragon. And I know I keep getting called yellow, but I don't know where to put it because it doesn't seem like a composition that should... Just taking the mix of colors that's on my spatula I scraped up. I gotta clean all the threads out of my bottles when I think of it. So I'm a color art affiliate and there are color art colors. Every one of these is a color art color. So check out the new system of finding what you want by looking it up by color. I'm really trying to figure out how to get that yellow in there. Maybe what I want to do is have a completely clean spatula. Put a little more white down. I never did use the sea monster yet. I've got yellow orange. I kind of want to look at what it looks like in here. I don't mind that. I'm going to use it in with the white too. Hopefully 
hopefully without that thing that's in my paint on my spatula. No, not coming off. I'm just going to have to clean my spatula off. As the paint dries, it becomes a problem. Do I want to go there? I might. This is the sea monster. It's a prison pour. And a little bit of sapphire. And I was going to go to the love you pink, but I don't think so. I want a little bit of this white. My timer is set for another three minutes. I wasn't expecting to get this done all in one. What do I want down here? I have some pale blue. I have some frosted with ultramarine blue and a drop of something else in it. I think that's going to work great. I'm not happy with what's happening with the schmutz though. I could have wiped off my spatula if I had wanted to make sure I didn't have any green, but I didn't do that, and it was consciously. I might just keep going. I kind of want a little bit of, a little bit more, I should say, of the saffron. Just a little blade, although I think I put it on the wrong side. That's okay, I'll tap it down. <laughs> now I am pulling up a little bit of paint because it's tacky, but I kind of like what I've got. So I'm going to try not to freak out about it. A little more of the vivid intense white and a little bit more of the lovey pink. And a cleanish spatula I need I'm just going to clean them all when I'm done, I guess. Good thing I got three. There. I love you guys. I hope you come again. I posted 10, 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think I want something else in here, and I think it's going to be Orange Crush. Quite a bit of orange crush, actually. I got one minute left. Whatever I haven't told you, you'll see in another video. Check my link tree for my websites and coupon codes and stuff nearby. <laughs> my Amazon link, if you shop there, it's at no to cost you. I haven't shimmered this at you. Yes, I just put some schmutz down there, but it's okay. I'm wondering if I'm completely done. I think I want a little more jasmine in here. And a little more here. I'll see you guys in on. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now, Priscilla out.